Well good morning YouTubers and welcome to Luxury Tech and Travel. I've wanted to make this video for a while because I'm becoming increasingly frustrated at the amount of new drones that are being released on Kickstarter on crowdfunding sites such as Indiegogo. And as someone that has invested in the Lily drone that failed and I still haven't received my money back, I do tend to have a look around and keep an eye on new drones that are being released to the market. And they all seem to have a very common theme. So let's take a look what that is. So it's quite simple to work out really, isn't it? Super slick promo videos, filmed in amazing locations, beautiful Western actors, amazing specification, too good to be true it seems. Now I fully understand that investing in crowdsourcing, crowdfunding projects comes with an element of risk. No issue there for me whatsoever. That's the reason why huge discounts are given to people by investing early. But I think the drone industry is starting to get out of control. And what I want to do today is just highlight a couple of drones that have been recently released that I have my concerns about, and one of which I have actually invested in. The drone that I invested in was the Ku drone, a 4K nano drone that offered absolutely amazing specification. And to be perfectly honest with you, I thought it was too good to be true. However, a lot of people like myself have invested. It's only $99, so where's the risk with $99? But the crazy thing is, as of April, this project had 10,700 backers and over $1.2 million raised, which is an insane amount of money, 1,600% of its target. Now, the frustrating thing about this drone is that basically there's been fake advertising they're not using their own camera, They're, the pictures that they show aren't their own, aren't coming from the drone itself. They actually said that it's not actually the drone, the drone that took the pictures, but it was the camera that's gonna go on the drone that took the pictures. They've said that they've produced 2,000 units, that was back in May, but they haven't been able to test them because there's been so much rain in China. Now come on, you know, what do you take us for? Now, we all understand that delays come around, but the most recent one, and I think this is a classic, anybody that's purchased white, we're really sorry, but we can't actually match the body and the top color. So the two whites are slightly off, so we don't want to do that. You know, we take our production very seriously, so would you consider now taking black? Frustrating thing about this drone is that people are complaining, naturally, where's the drone? We should have received it in July. You said that 2,000 units were produced. And what they now say, in a very generic response, which is really, really annoying, is that your order's now being processed, please bear with us, and no, you can't have a refund. Which I kind of understand with crowdfunding, you know, you don't always get a refund. But it's the transparency from these companies. First, you have all the glam advertising, all the Western actors, when it's clearly built by a Chinese company. And this is the frustration with all of these drones. Now, I'm not saying the Ku drone won't be released. They have said now that by the 23rd of August, they'll start shipping as long as you're happy to take the black. But the thing is now, when this drone actually arrives, will it have anywhere near the specification that they promised? Now, if you ask anybody in the drone industry at the specifications of this drone, they'll all say that it cannot be done for the price point that they're selling at. But I have my real concerns over the Ku drone. I'm expecting mine now by the end of August, and I'll certainly update everybody as and when or if the drone arrives. And another drone that's come to the market on Indiegogo just 19 days ago is the GOB drone. $399 from $699, offering 4K video, carbon fiber body, carbon fiber propellers. 
Now this, this one's only had $7,500 raised so far. But the thing is, again, super slick advertising, that common theme, actors, also people not really knowing too much about the company. And if you scroll, scroll through and take a look at the Go drone, and you look at the specifications, right at the bottom, at least they've been honest here, footage not shot from the Go drone. Now come on, they're putting together and saying that they're ready to produce and start marketing the drone and selling the drone. And when questioned, what they said is they're ready for production, i.e. we have all the parts in our warehouse. So people are going into this, backing this drone on the strength of saving money, obviously, an amazing promo video. But again, the footage is not actually from the Go drone, which is really annoying. The same as the Lily drone, I don't know if you remember, but the Lily drone got themselves in so much trouble because they was using a GoPro camera for their promotional footage. So that's my rant over. I'd love to know your thoughts and feelings on this. As I say, I understand that invested in crowdfunding project, projects comes with its risks, but the drone industry really needs to do something. And I think companies like Indiegogo, Kickstarter, etc., need to vet their projects a little bit better. And maybe us as consumers, maybe we shouldn't jump in there straight away and order these products. Because not only of the common theme of all the flash advertising, another common theme is firstly, they're always late, months behind schedule, regardless of how much money they raise. And secondly, most of the time, the specifications that are promised are never delivered. So I'd love to know your thoughts, guys. I love drones, I love the whole concept of it, and I know us drone pilots, we take droning very serious, we fly seriously, and we all love it to make beautiful movies and get great footage. But I'd love your thoughts on this, on what potentially could be done, and whether you've had any experience of drones that have failed. Really appreciate you watching. If you've enjoyed the video, there's lots more videos like this coming on this channel. This channel is all about amazing hotels, luxury travel destination, the best travel advice, and super cool technology. So if it's the sort of thing that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribers to this channel really mean a lot to me. So thank you again, guys, and see you soon.